Hi, my name's Kim Wilde and I'm taking over Rage today. I'm going to play you some of my favourite videos from music throughout my whole life. Uh, it's going to be a real walk back in time for me too. So uh, stick with it and uh, keep an open mind. Hello. The first video I'm going to play is from the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley. In our house, the house of my father, Marty Wilde, an English rock and roll star, Elvis was very much God. And um, I remember seeing this video for the first time on TV, the black and white T-shirt. Hey, does that bring back any memories for you? It certainly does for me. Check out Kids in America, you'll see what I mean. In 1972, I was a 12-year-old girl living in Hertfordshire with my mum and dad and Ricky Wilde, my brother, and we just love pop music. My dad had an, had an incredible vinyl collection and uh, we were already big Bowie fans. We loved Hunky Dory and all the songs from that. Uh, this song, John and Money Dancing, uh, I saw on the list and I thought, you know what, I haven't heard that song for ages. What a great song. Uh, I know it was recorded during the Aladdin Sane sessions and I know you're just going to love listening to it today. I can't wait. Back in 1975, the Bay City Rollers were just huge. All the girls in the UK just loved them. And my favourite was Les McEwen. He was just gorgeous. And all the girls at school, well, we were wearing platform shoes and midi dresses and um, doing some line dancing to this, I think. But I just loved him. I loved all the tartan and uh, great to see this back on the show. Next we have the synth pioneers, Kraftwerk. I remember this album in my father's record collection uh, and I, we put it on and I just loved it. Uh, we all loved it. And my dad, you have to remember, um, was only sort of 20 years older than me, so he had a very young mind, although he was always associated with the 50s and being in rock and roll. But he loved modern music and uh, Autobahn and, and Kraftwerk were as modern as you got at that time, the most modern. In 1987, I found myself in the back of a stretch Cadillac listening to this song from Prince as I was looking up at New York skyscrapers. And uh, I just loved it. It's such a great classic song. And it reminds me of a fantastic time in my career because the year after, less than a year, uh, my version of You Keep Me Hanging On went to number one in America. And this song always reminds me of cruising around uh, New York in the stretch limo. Uh, just dreaming of that number one record. As I was growing up, there were a few singer-songwriters, female ones, that had a really big impact on me. Um, and one of them was Carly Simon. Uh, I could mention others like Joni Mitchell and Carol King, but we're gonna play a Carly Simon one now. And I remember I had this album called Boys in the Trees. That was one of my favorite Carly Simon albums. But this song, Why, wasn't on that. But it was a great single and a, a great song. And what a voice. What a writer. What a woman. Hi, I'm Kim Wilde and you're watching Rage. In the early 80s, I was at art college and The Clash were really one of the best bands around at the time. Certainly one of my favourite. And I went to see them a couple of times. They were so cool. They sounded great live. And uh, this album was played at all the parties that you went to. Everybody loved The Clash, and why wouldn't they? And uh, it stood the test of time, this album. There's not really been a band like them since, is there? I remember standing in my kitchen not so many years ago, and the TV was on. There was some, like, some late night chat show that had a bit of music. And uh, I was listening to this voice and it was pulling me to the TV and it was Rufus Wainwright and I phoned up my husband <laughs> who was next door, uh, that's the way it goes, and I said to him, Hal, have you listened to this guy on the, ra uh, on the TV? It's, it, this is just, fa he's fantastic. I've been a huge fan ever since, I've seen him live a few times um, and I've chosen this song going to a town today because I think it's one of the most beautiful, beautiful songs I've ever heard and uh, perhaps you haven't heard it and so you should. A few years ago, I was sat in our lounge watching Glastonbury uh, live on the TV. Fantastic. And uh, the Fleet Foxes came on and they sang this song, White Winter Hymnal. And uh, I was knocked out. I thought, that's a great song. And uh, so when I made my winter album, um, I included it and I got my dad to sing it. And uh, it sounds great. You should check it out. 
Hi, I'm Kim Wilde, and you're watching Rage. I think I pretty much like everything Eminem does. Uh, it never disappoints, does he? And um, this video, when I'm gone, is really very emotional to watch. Um, really get a lump in your throat watching it, me especially. And you'll see why when you see it. Hi, I'm Kim Wilde, and you're watching Rage. I really love this next song, God and Satan by Biffy Clyro. Um, just love the sound of it and I love the message too. You know, uh, I want to see both sides. I want to hear both sides from God and Satan. It's an interesting lyric and uh, the video really works too. Hi, I'm Kim Wilde and you're watching Rage. Hey, thanks for watching tonight. I hope you enjoyed my video choices. I've really enjoyed it. And I'm going to play some of my videos now. So why don't we kick off with the one that you may well remember. Uh, it's Kids in America. And hey, just check out the black and white stripy t-shirt, just like Elvis wore in Jailhouse Rock. <laughs>